Solar water heating is using the energy from the sun to heat water. We can use this water for bathing and doing dishes or other uses around the house. We can also use it to heat a house in the wintertime or even use it for a process in an industrial to preheat a boiler for a company that had a process like that. Um, it's straightforward technology. It's been around for 30 plus years. Basically, you put a collector in the sun and you have a heat transfer fluid that comes back around and transfers that heat into a water heater. The collectors you see are generally two collectors on a roof for a standard family of four or so. That's going to heat 80 gallons of water every sunny day. Solar water heating has a number of factors that make it work or not work economically for someone. One of them is you need to have sun on your roof because you have to be able to capture the sun's energy. So a really good solar site would have five hours of sun on the roof or in the yard near the house where you could get the sun. Um, if you had up to three hours of sunlight in a day, you're still a pretty good site. Any less than three hours of sunlight, and you have to look at other strategies. You can overcome that a number of ways. You can add more collectors. So if it's a less time in the sun and there's more collectors, you end up getting the same or similar amount of heat. Um, but having sun on your roof is really one of the most important things. When we, we come up, we like to do a solar siting before anyone buys a solar water heating system from Southern Energy Management. And in that siting, we use a, a, a device called a solar pathfinder. And that solar pathfinder is an engineering tool that quantifies the amount of sunlight that hits your roof in a true engineering fashion year round. Other ways to do it are to take a look at your roof in the daytime uh, and see what time the sun hits your roof and then what time it leaves it. You know, normally three, four, five hours is a lot of sun in the wintertime on a roof that we'd like to see. Solar water heating system is going to cost you about $7,000 approximately. There's a number of options that we choose, sort of a good, better, best for systems. And, uh, but the upfront cost is really not the most important question with solar in our minds. We like to see people look at what's my return on investment for this investment, and then also kind of what's my payback is another question we frequently will have to answer. A common payback period for a solar water heating system for, uh, for a family of four is going to be about eight to ten years to pay back a solar water heater purely on the money that you save. Now solar adds a lot of value in other ways, so you're going to add value to your house in a resale. So the same way that if you invest in a uh, kitchen remodel that you know that when you sell your house you're going to get that money back. So solar is the same way, you're going to get a lot of the money you put into solar back in the form of a resale value. And in fact, in the rising energy economy we are now, solar houses sell quicker than regular houses. And it's a draw for people to want to your house in a resale market. Also, you're going to see that you get a good tax credit. About 50% of your system is going to come back to you in a tax credit that is uh, the first year that you own your system. Tax credits for solar water heating are pretty straightforward. Um, there are a cat, there are both a federal uh, tax credit and a state tax credit. And the state tax credit of North Carolina is 35% of a system cost up to $1,400. So all the systems we install will hit that $1,400 peak, so you can expect in North Carolina to get a $1,400 tax credit. The federal credit is a 30% credit up to $2,000. We would normally hit that peak also. So you're going to see a tax credit in the $1,400 range total with the federal plus the state. We'll show you the economics uh, on a graph that shows you how it all works out, but normally for a system it's going to work out to about $3,000 in tax credits total. The most common question we get about solar water heating is what happens when the sun doesn't shine? Do I still have hot water? And so there's always a backup to your solar water heating system that involves either an electric backup or a gas backup. A lot of times we'll just preheat our tank into that main water heater that you already have at your house. You save the money by the fact that the water that comes out of our solar water heater is hot and your water heater would normally have to heat up cold water from the city. Um, so there's always going to be a backup element. You're always going to have the same amount of hot water as you've had before. Or the system, if it's new, we're all new, we're going to design it to give you the amount of backup, solar, backup hot water that you need. 
One of the questions we get is about the maintenance on your solar water heating system. The systems are very simple with just a single pump and controller, solid state controller in general, and there's very little moving parts. It's copper and aluminum and glass mostly. So the one thing that we do have as regular maintenance is every three to five years, you need to test the pH of your system. The owner's manual that we give you will have pH test strips. You can choose to do that yourself, or if you called us, we'd be glad to continue to do maintenance on all of the systems that we install. We appreciate you taking a look at our video for solar water heating and look forward to talking to you soon.